Thank you, sir. And um, welcome everyone, Dr. Brophy, um, Mr. Fisk, Dr. Andreg. It's a pleasure to have you again, um, the second meeting for the year 2021. And um, I will just um, um, pass the uh, mic on to Dr. Brophy, yeah, the so let's... person of the meeting. Okay, so thank you, uh, Dr. Munster. Um, so uh, let's call the meeting of the Board of Health uh, for the City of Brockton for uh, uh, Thursday, March 4th uh, to order. Uh, the first item on the agenda is the minutes from the uh, January meeting from the board. Um, any edits or uh, changes to that? Otherwise, I'd uh, entertain a motion to approve. I make a motion to accept them. Seconded. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, uh, next item on the agenda is the uh, COVID-19 vaccinations uh, and where, where we stand. So, uh, Dr. Dr. Munster? Yes, thank you. Um, we've had two clinics already. Uh, we had one for the first responders. We vaccinated over 500, uh, and to be precise, about 540 first responders, which, include, which included um, Advent EMTs, Advent EMS, police, and fire. And then the second dose, that was the first dose of the Moderna. Right. Uh, coming Monday, February 8, 9, and 10, we will be administering the second dose for that population. Last week, we had, on la last week, Friday, we administered about 140 doses as well uh, for other subcategories within the um, phase one population. Uh, tomorrow, we will also have a clinic, which will include um, population of phase one plus phase two, that will only be uh, 75 plus, because those individuals, uh, as of Monday, they have been qualified uh, as eligible population to be vaccinated. So tomorrow, we will have a mix a, group, a mixed group of phase one and phase two. And then Monday, we will do, we will run a clinic Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for um, second dose for first responders. Great. Can I add, uh, did do you have an, um, you know, is there a plan that uh, how many doses you're getting over the, you know, in the coming days? I know that you have the phase, uh, the phase one uh, second doses in, in plan, but any idea of how much you're going to be getting and, and um, over time or, uh, or what time period do you find out uh, when you have doses available? Um, in fact, I just hang up just about 10 minutes before this meeting, I had a conversation with uh, someone at DPH, the supply is still a limited reagent. And so therefore we don't know from week to week how many doses we will get. However, in the conversation I had today, uh, it is encouraged, uh, we are encouraged to, when we apply next week, to push for, to put, push for one type of vaccine. Uh, instead of Moderna, we will apply just for Pfizer because they said with the Pfizer, we can get more because it comes in those, um, the, a box of 975. But we did order this, week, but because we put the two types, we probably will not get both of them. And so um, by Monday, we will know what we will get for the following week. That's how they do it. Um, on that same vein, let me also mention that uh, we no longer we will no longer be available to to um, continue vaccination at the high school because on the 23rd of February, our school will reconvene. Um, at least it will be a hybrid, and so therefore the facility will not be available. But the plan is to move after the 23rd to move to the um, Shaw Center where we will meet, we will, we will be working together with um, Broughton Neighborhood Health Center because they will be vaccinating also at one part of the building, uh, including testing as well. Any questions from any of the committee members or? Straightforward, nope. 
I just have a question. Uh, you know, I've, I've heard on TV with the mayor and everything, it seemed like we were lacking getting the, uh, the vaccine. Um, that's a good question. Thank you. It's not so much, well, I mean, it comes to the fact that they don't have enough supply. For instance, last week, we ordered 3,000 doses and we got 200. <laughs> That's not too good. <laughs> we ordered 3,000, we got 300. The first time we received it, we ordered 650, we got 600. We thought that we were getting it, um, you know, very easy. But last week proved otherwise. And so um, we simply go with the flow. We got we put the order in, but the decision is made by DPH based on availability. Um, tomorrow, though, we will have the clinic. We have 340 doses available because we had 140 from last week. And then this week, we, we received 200. So we will be vaccinating. Um, we have vaccine available tomorrow for uh, about 340 uh, individuals. It just seems to me since being a hotspot, you know, from what I can see, you know, when you're looking at the news being a hotspot that we'd be, you know, have a little bit more available to us, if, you know, being a big city and being a hotspot. Yeah. In fact, I asked, in fact, I asked the, um, the DPH agent today that I spoke with um, if he has a rough number uh, in terms of number of doses being administered in Brockton. He said, because of discrepancy and the way that um, small number of vac vaccines available, they don't, they haven't um, stratified to cities yet in terms of uh, data. So he's, he told me that um, they allocated by, by many places, they do it by county. And so for, for Plymouth County, they have given 7.2% 7 7, 7 uh, of, uh, of the population. Any other questions or, you know, it's just concerning, uh, you know, that the, the no. city, um, there aren't a lot of vaccination sites around, you know, I'm looking at, you know, when I looked at the website uh, for vaccinations and where they were being held, there, there were, you know, there are not a lot of vaccination sites around. The last night saw a map of where the CVSs, uh, you know, are getting uh, vaccines as well. And again, nothing sort of in our area. Uh, I don't know if there's plans to, uh, to uh, maybe it's that they need to engage our, our pharmacies here, but uh, as, it, as, as it expands out, I agree that our area is kind of, uh, you know, there's not a lot of places for people to go to get these, uh, get these vaccinations. And uh, you know, we, are, we are a hotspot. I mean, we are the zip code with the most fatalities in the state. And, and, and uh, you know, it, uh, I don't know if there's more resources coming um, you know, uh, moving forward, uh, especially if, uh, if there's, uh, you know, Congress passes the, uh, the bill that uh, puts more funding uh, behind this. But I don't know if there's programs with the Department of Public Health or other ways that we can partner uh, to try and get more vaccine into the clinic and, and availability of the vaccine. I'm unclear of what the um, health systems like our clinics around um, um, the area may have the health, uh, the clinics uh, the doing healthcare, as well as what they're being provided with vaccine. But I think, you know, getting some idea of, of the numbers of what's coming down here uh, and, and being able to enhance our vaccination program would be, uh, you know, a, a top priority as, as far as I'm concerned. So. I, I, fortunately, I, I mean, the, the challenge is, is everybody's knocking at the door at the same time and everybody says that their need, regardless of the numbers, are the same. I'm not saying this is logical. I'm just saying that's yeah. circumstance across the state and across the country. Yeah. Um, and the, the information that comes out of the Department of Public Health is not always um, um, present time. Right. It, it may be often um, dated and they tell um, there are different um channels from different um, parts of the, of the department. 
No, I think it's challenging for everyone uh, involved. Uh, you know, just uh, it's just difficult, to, particularly in the older patient population, um, where they, you know, their ability to travel and get the places to get these vaccines is is limited, and uh, you know, and. and and if you don't have uh, the transportation to get you to these centers, if you have to travel more distantly uh, than outside the city, it's, it's far more of a challenge uh, for folks. So. Yeah, the globe, the front page this morning was saying exactly that, and everybody's saying the same thing. And you know, yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah. Not excusing it by any means. It's just it is what it is. Yeah. So. So, uh, you know, uh, we'll just have to, you know, stay, um, uh, I mean, yeah, stay in close contact with the Department of Public Health, any resources or anything that comes down the line to be aware of and, and to do the best we can and, and um, trying to, um, to get as much in the way of the vaccine that we can within the, within the city. So, so um, um, we'll move on. Next item on the agenda, you, you talked about the ongoing vaccinations and the, and the supply and demand. Um, I guess the next item would be, uh, we've moved down. Excuse me, so Mary, just, yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt, but is the person for the tobacco, do we know that is, is he or she ready? Were we going to move? Yeah, we were going to move to that. Uh, are they on? Um, so let's, um, let's move on, on the agenda and we'll just have to wait until, um, until the, um, uh, the group from the, uh, uh, variety, Shiva variety arrives. So, so the next item is the dashboard for the um, COVID-19 um, for the city of Brockton and the statistics for the city. Yeah, the numbers continue to rise. Um, as of today, we had uh, 25, 2,575, um, over 11,000 deaths and three, I mean, um, cumulative numbers. I mean, from the beginning and then 369 deaths. So which means that the numbers are plateauing very slowly, um, but they're still, they're still high. Are they, are they coming down at all? Um, you know, the percentage of um, positive cases or? Um, they're coming very, by, I would say, a little bit less than what we had at the be uh, of last week because what we're seeing is a little bit drop a little drop in the numbers after the holidays well we're guessing that's those numbers that have um given the spike were from the holidays so the the um slowing down a little bit so um that's the um assumption here but um did not really as as low as we would expect them as, at this point yet. Okay, all right. So any questions from, from folks? No, okay, oh. all right. Okay, um, so um, the, um, and I, I just want, my only question is to ask how the department uh, staff wise is holding up with, uh, you know, between the vaccination clinics and, and keeping up with the uh, um, contact tracing that needs to happen. Um, uh, how, um, well, they both are happening. Um, the contact tracing, because we have some help from uh, um, partners, partners in health and uh, other um, individuals from the CTC, uh, it helps a little bit and the numbers are down. Um, as, of this, as of this morning, they had about over uh, close, under 100 people who have been contacted, but some of them were not reached because first contact, they did not uh, respond. Uh, but with respect to the, the vaccination, this week has been very crazy because the number was, our number was placed on the, uh, on the web. And so therefore phone had been, has been ringing off the hook and um, everybody has been answering their phone here. It's quite, quite stressful for all of us. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, can imagine. So, all right. So uh, then leads us to sort of the next item of the health promotion and public health education and partnerships uh, with various stakeholders and, and, um, and um, help uh, that they've been providing us. So. So uh, any, uh, uh, anything you'd like to inform the board about, uh, about the health promotion and, um, and uh, education program? Yeah, we've, we're finalizing on four 
um, individuals who uh, have accepted to join us. And so next week, probably Monday or Tuesday, uh, we finalized to have a, a training uh, in the GAR room for them so that we could uh, um, launch the ambassador program for teaching or education. And we probably will um, combine that with uh, some fun answering as well um, as the demand increases in people calling for vaccination. Has there been anyone hired? Uh, I know the, the position was hard to hire into the ambassador position. Have we been more successful or? Well, right now we have four. So those are the, the four that we will start. We will train, we'll do training for next week. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, any questions from anyone on the, on the board? No. No, okay. <clears throat> So, um, given our previous event, uh, is there anyone, uh, you know, uh, do we know of anyone on the, um, from the um, uh, Shivam variety uh, or representing our, our on? And is there any way of screening before we put them on, given the. Who is Fifi previous? here, um, yeah. Yeah. Dr. Matsur? I have, I asked before, um, let me, let me try again. Uh, Fifi, would you identify yourself? Are you uh, representing Shivam Variety or are you just um, an attendee to the meeting, please? Need to I'm just an attendee to the meeting. I'm, I'm attending the meeting for a school report. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. okay, fine. All right. Okay. And. Uh, uh, there's, it looks like someone else may be in the, in the waiting room as well. Let's see, there are seven, two, four, six. No, that's the person from the TV. Okay. There's an Ellie Sneedy. I don't have yeah. that on my screen. I don't see that here either. I see it on my screen. Yeah. I wonder if I should, well. <laughs> no, they should be able to hear you and unmute if they're there. Yeah, um, they, they should hear you, yeah. I have a question. Then you can should, we, should we postpone that item until the next meeting with that um, that incident that we had? Makes sense. Yeah, and may we may have to. Um, uh, I don't know if there's a, if there's a way to screen before letting somebody uh, onto the. We can give um, anybody no, that's coming in for business. Um, we can give them a password so they can come in, and otherwise people can't. Right. I'd, I'd recommend postponing that item until the next time. Okay. Okay. Do we have a second on that? Second. Yes. No. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then um, any miscellaneous items anyone wants to bring to the to the board? Well, I'd still like to bring up a little bit about the uh, you know the people still sleeping under the bridges. It's awful closed. I noticed that some of the people that I had mentioned before uh, that were out in the woods, their tents are down but there's still people sleeping under the bridges. It's, you know, it's cold. And I don't know if there's anything we can do farm or can't do farm or whatever. Is, is um, that police um, generally kind of um, um, cruising and, and, and inviting those opportunities to them? I don't know. Yes. Well, <clears throat> well go ahead. Go ahead, Dr. Enos. Um, I know that on Wednesdays, the mayor has a meeting with all heads of departments. And um, I think building and police made some arrangement. And uh, so therefore, I think, I don't remember how many people they moved, but they did move a small number of individuals from under the bridge to uh, some locations in town. So um, it seems that some of them, come back, some of the individuals come back or when the police go out, they don't, they don't see them. And so therefore it seems to be a daunting task um, they continue to work on, but they did make some interventions um, in week pass to, to move, to press them to some uh, shelter, some of them. How are the shelters holding up? Uh, they, they are at capacity. Oh, mm -hmm. not just uh, even over capacity. Um. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah, yeah. including uh, Father Bill, because he has a good, uh, more than one location in Brockton where he places um, people who are looking for a place to sleep. And so I know um, he, has, he is over capacity. Okay. It's also worth saying that there are some that would choose to stay under the bridge as opposed to go to a shelter. Right. Yeah. So. You can't help anyone if they don't want to be helped. Yeah. Right. So. Any other issues? Nope. So nope. if so, if not, then our um, next board meeting is scheduled for March fourth. Um, at the same time, 4.30. Uh, hopefully we can work out how, uh, you know, no, I think knowing from the group uh, from the uh, variety store um, that are going to be uh, presenting um, uh, would be important before uh, the next meeting so that uh, we don't have a similar situation. Uh, Might tell them that they could be the first on the agenda and it could be done, but to, you know, to be sure they're here on time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Great. Okay, with that um, motion to adjourn? Second. So moved. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. So we will uh, we'll end the meeting and uh, regroup again in, uh, in March. Um, and thank you everyone for, for joining. Okay. Take care. Take, Take care. care. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs>